Roger, and lift off, and the clock is operating. By the mid-1960s, only a few short years into the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union, manned space flights had become somewhat pedestrian. And for agencies in both countries, driven by an impulse to up the ante, there was an itch to break through another barrier. In March of 1965, Russian cosmonaut Alexei Leonov left the confines of his spacecraft and became the first human to walk among the stars. For 12 minutes, on a 17 and a half foot tether, he floated freely in the dark abyss. It was a monumental feat, but one that nearly cost him his life. Leonov's suit ballooned in the vacuum of space, making it impossible for him to fit through the airlock. With no other option, he opened a valve on his suit to depressurize, enough so he could re-enter the capsule. Three months later, the Americans sent up their first spacewalker, NASA astronaut Ed White. Okay, I'm from the spacecraft. Okay, from the spacecraft. Tied to a tether, White gleefully hovered high above Earth's atmosphere. I feel like a million dollars. White enjoyed it so much, he was reluctant to return to the spacecraft. But by the time he did, he'd outlasted his Russian counterpart by more than a few minutes. And so a record-breaking, highly successful 20-minute walk in space. To be sure, these walks in space were more than just shows of daring do. They were meant as preparations for an eventual landing on the moon. But once that mission was accomplished, the role of extravehicular activities evolved, made not so much for the purposes of testing endurance or maneuverability, but instead for conducting maintenance and repairs. Uh, tilt it up. Try that right there. Oh, okay. That looks as good as you're gonna do. Okay. The first EVA repairs were made during 1973's Skylab 2 mission, when astronauts ventured out to fix a stuck solar panel. But like the spacewalkers who came before them, they were tethered to their spacecraft. And it would be another decade before man would be free to soar unrestrained. The prospect of greater functionality outside of the spacecraft inspired NASA to develop the MMU, or Manned Maneuvering Unit. It would get its first test during the 10th Space Shuttle mission STS-41B. On February 7, 1984, astronauts Bruce McCandless and Robert Stewart strapped in and began piloting away from the Space Shuttle Challenger. Propelled by tiny jets, they toured the vast expanse that surrounded them for nearly six hours. McCandless got as far away as 320 feet, and from the windows of the spacecraft he left, he looked like nothing more than a white speck. Well, this is really beautiful out here. We're getting a nice sun angle and everything. It was the first untethered spacewalk, a milestone immortalized by this image of man flying far beyond the bounds of Earth. And not even 20 years removed from the death-defying endeavors of Leonov and White, it was yet more evidence of the rapid ingenuity fueled by the exploratory spirit so central to our human nature.